Hello guys. We're an old army girl here. Got the 50 caliber CVA Express. It's beautiful. Pudding. Got it for me. I put it together. Got some makeshift sights on it. Got some real sights on the way. But gonna try to hit the milk jug there about uh, roughly 15 yards away and then the damn steel plate behind it. It's uh, 300 and I think a 325 grain improved mini. Oh, uh, well, modern mini. It's basically a gigantic semi watt cutter for the hollow base and 90 grains of Graf's 3F black powder. I'm just going to shoot it right down to see what it does. And uh, test my new computer out, see how it uploads this video. I'll be doing more videos once I get the sights on this. Oh yeah, guys. That killed the hell out of this milk jug. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's the hell out of this milk jug. Wow. I would not want to be hit with that. That's a lot of hydro shock. Yeah, I like my gray coat. Regular old army girl. Help. So guys, um, before I pin it up, I was going to show you something. In between shots. I oh know, that's disgusting. <laughs> I usually do it a different way, but they call it spit patching. <coughs> Better to do it the Hickok way with some ballast stone, but run you down patch down the barrel get the crud see how dirty that is makes cleaning the gun later a lot easier too and you get the crud out and so someone, I forget who, I forget what subscriber was, forgive me asked how you use a paper cartridge Okay, I'm going to pick my ball starter, and this one had to, that's what happens when you're talking. 
if you're talking and trying to do this, you'll lose which barrel, you know, and it's why you have to be careful with the double. So I had a subscriber, I forget who, I'm sorry, I can't remember everybody's names, but I don't remember the question, it was how do you use one of these paper cartridges? Well, in the old days, during a fight, you would bite the tab off with your teeth. I'm not going to do that, because I like really sensitive teeth. Plus, it's just gross. I like the spit patch. But you'll rip it here at the powder column. Which exposes your powder. It's 90 grains of three of. Simply pour it down the barrel. Now, if this was an infield cartridge, I'd just stick it in like this because the bullets and it reversed and then you just break it off but this is a Springfield type so push on it here that drops the ball out <coughs> excuse me drops the ball out and this is why I was shooting at the milk jug it's a modern mini it's got a big wide realm, almost like a hammer head on it, so that's why I hit so hard. And the way a mini ball functions, it's got a hollow base, see how wide and deep that is? When the gas from the barrel explodes, it hits up in that hollow base and it opens it up so it can engage the rifle in which spirals it out of the barrel, which gives it better accuracy and range. Then you just now imagine doing all this in a hurry, you're fumbling around, you're getting shot at. That's what the Civil War guys was going through. Now these need to be sized. They're a little bit over size. But I can get them going. Typically they would just slide on down and push them home. But like I said, these are a little tight. So I get to demonstrate the other part, that when you, if you was using a round ball, you start with this little short leg here, give it a whack, flip it around to the long leg. That's typically what you would do if you had a patched round ball. Then you take your round right. And when you feel it bottom out, put pressure on it. Don't sit there banging it. Don't bang it. <laughs> Gosh, black powder sounds dirty. Don't bang it. And uh, make a unique sound when it bottoms out. If you give it a love tap, just pick it up and drop it. Hear that? That's what it sounds like when it hits lead. That's when you know you fully seated. And that's how you use an 1863 Springfield style paper cartridge, whether it's 45 caliber all the way up to 60 caliber. This is Red Girl Army Girl out.